Stephen Gerard. Stephen George Gerard, born May 30, 1980, is an English professional football manager and former player, who manages Premier League club Aston Villa. Described by pundits and fellow professionals as one of his generation's greatest players. Gerard spent the majority of his playing career as a central midfielder for Liverpool FC and the England national team, captaining both. Here are some famous quotes from him. When I die, don't bring me to the hospital, bring me to Anfield. I was born there and will end there. Loyalty doesn't seem to be in the game that much these days, where players leave their clubs, which made them the stars they are today, either to seek personal glory or fill their pockets, but one man serves as the epitome of club loyalty. Asking me why I love Liverpool is like asking me why I breathe. I could have left, I could have raised more money. But this is where I will spend the rest of my life. Cut my veins, open, and I bleed Liverpool red. Of course this club always tries to strengthen, tries to improve. We dust ourselves down and go again. I had a couple of options through my career to go to another club, but I resisted temptation, because of the feeling I had for my hometown club. It might be something I regret down the line for not challenging myself and experiencing another country. But I would have had an even bigger regret leaving Liverpool. I had a great admiration for Madrid, but for me, Liverpool is my number one club. We are Liverpool Football Club, and the expectations are so high. I didn't sleep with the European Cup, but it was in my room. It was just special, and I just had to have the cup with me. Lifting the cup as Liverpool captain was just the best moment of my life. Don't try to beat the goalkeeper, Try to destroy the goalkeeper. Liverpool FC and I will never be separated. Even though I have been here for more than 16 years and have more than 700 caps so far, the relationship will never fade. Even if I fail to achieve my remaining dreams, I will remain a big Liverpool fan forever. The odds were against us, but we deserve to be where we are. I've loved every minute of it, and I'm absolutely devastated. I'll never play in front of these fantastic supporters again. I know how the fans feel. I share their frustration at times, and I get down just like them, when we suffer a bad result. The name in the front, is more important than the name in the back. This is much more than a football club. It's an institution. If we play in the right way, and do what the manager asks us, then we will win games. We've got the best blend of youth, experience, and quality the club's seen in a while. We have a gang of very hungry players. Everyone wants medals. When you've got that desire in a dressing room, and when the punters in the stands, and the people in the boardroom match it, then you've got a winning mixture. I look around the dressing room pre-kickoff now, and you can see the will to win in people's eyes.
We need to forget about mistakes and take the positives. It's too easy to blame other people in football. I'm not going to lie, it's been an emotional 24 hours for myself and my family, but there are still 6 months to go, and I've still got plenty of time for tears and sentiment come the end of the season. We've proved a lot of people wrong so far, but the job is not finished yet. And if we come home from Istanbul empty-handed, then it would be a disaster. To me, it's the best trophy you can win, and to bring it back for all them fans that have supported us right through would be something special. I've got a day job now, and all my focus obviously on Rangers. But I've got one eye on Enfield, and I just hope the guys can get us over the line because I'll be the happiest man in the world. I'm looking forward to offering a greater level of understanding of the demands and pressures of football. It's about development, improving, and I know exactly where I am. I could have taken other coaching positions and management roles on name or reputation, but I think that would have been stupid. My aim dream would be to manage Liverpool FC.